this was presented to me um, today. They said, if you're the Edmonton owners and you're paying Darnell Nurse $9.25 million, yep. and he's done very well on the power play when given the opportunity in the past, if you want to make his contract look better, should you play him more on the power play? Okay. I, I would just say no because I think Bouchard's better at it. And you're not in the business of trying to appease – fans or anything that you're in the business of winning right okay so so then his follow-up to that was because you know that nurse can play on yeah. the power play yeah. and do and the power play was fine with him on it yeah, you go it look at it it was fine right just like it was fine with tyson berry mm -hmm. and it's fine with evan bouchard why because 29 and 97 run the power play okay 93 is pretty good too. when they, they traded yeah. barry and everyone was like whoa yeah. is the power play gonna yeah. take a step back no so and and his theory was what's edmonton's biggest weakness it's not their power play it's their defending five on five yeah. So he said, if you can play nurse on the power play, could you trade Evan Bouchard and get a defensive minded defenseman like Brett Pesci? It was a real interesting debate that we had over beers because if people just say yeah. what now it's, it's very bold and it's different thinking, but your power play is very good. Almost regardless of which D man's on it. It yep. changes a little bit. Bouchard has the heavier shot. No question. Right. There's no question in my mind about that. Right. Barry had a pretty decent shot. Nurse has an OK shot. Right. Now he's a lefty to a righty. So that's where it changes a bit. Mm -hmm. But when he did run it, he was fine. So it just it was an interesting dynamic to look at to say, because if Bouchard scores you 60 points this year, well, now he's a seven million dollar defenseman. Yeah, but like I, I've even heard there's been times in the past where people are like, oh, I remember in Toronto they did it. I forget who it was. It might have been Hyman, where they were like, why are they playing Hyman in the top six in a contract year? He's going to cost too much. Okay, good Lord. If the guy scores you 30 goals and he costs too much, you don't care because he scored you 30 goals, right? So I, I think with Bouchard, like, see, is he going to be expensive at some point? Yes. Do you just live with that? Yes. You'd rather have good players. You, that's a good problem no, to have. No, but his point was if the majority of his points are coming from the power play, yeah. that anybody could play. And you're already paying a guy 9.25 who can mm. produce the points there. It was just, you know what, something I hadn't, it was yeah, an yeah. angle that I hadn't thought about. And I was like, that's you know what, there's, you can at least have the discussion to, cause you know, when we talk about well, who are you going to be? I said, well, the only, like would Carolina trade Bouchard for Pesci and other pieces. We're just debating yeah, yeah. this, right? Then you look and say, cause what does Edmonton need to improve? They need to improve their five on five defending, right? Now, I'm not saying I would do it, but it's it's an interesting conversation before people freak out. You have to you have to look at things and say, hmm, I can see the merit. It's ballsy, right? It it might not be received the best way, mm -hmm. but it is something you could consider. Uh, Lance is in and says, "Did Gregor take Jay's notes for this show?" Jay Downton, that is uh, noted Bouchard hater. Jay Downton. Oh, uh, I, for, <laughs> I never said anything negative about Bouchard. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, the guy was talking about when you look at the big picture of your team, right? And you already have a guy that you're paying that much money for who would give it, albeit mm. smaller sample size, did well on the power play. Could you justify considering it? 